Hello, welcome, happy Monday everyone. This is Meredith, I'm here to do your general daily reading uh, for June 18th, 2018. I'm ready to jump right in, let's see what we've got. Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. It's a nice way to start the day. Aces are all about success. And this one's about property, material, Earth, Earth energy. This is a good manifestation card. We've got a little keyhole here. It's like we've unlocked, um, unlocking our abundance. Oh, I like that. Aces also um, bring amplified positive energy to whatever sits next to them or around them in the tarot. So let's see what this ace is amplifying. The magician. More manifestation. This is making what you want real. It's an air card, Mercury. It's action, it's creativity, success. So success here, success here. Success doubled between them but then amplified because it's an ace. This is love in action. This is using the energy of the love that you are to create the life that you dream. But it's about making your life, or excuse me, it's about making what you want real in your life. It's also good communication. We could be doing a lot of talking today. A lot of connecting with people today. Maybe even sharing some of our ideas, our skills, our talents. The magician's all about um, using the elements of the tarot to create. And then good communication with air and mercury in this card. We could be bouncing ideas off of other people. Just getting some feedback and um, not so much advice, but shared excitement. For our creations. Let's see what's next. Ten of Wands. Well. Wow. Okay, this is a fulfillment card in spite of the fact that this lady is underneath ten burning wands. <laughs> she has been through a time, people. But haven't we all? You know, my feeling on this card is that we wrestle with our conscience and this is a burden card, a, a over responsibility card. This is fire, it's Saturn and Sagittarius. Discomfort. We need to delegate a little bit or just take the pressure off ourselves. My intuitive feeling on this card is that these are the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that we wrestle with, that um, sometimes I call them vulture thoughts because they circle. <laughs> they circle the stuff that's just outdated, dying, and ready to be picked off, shall we say? All right, let's see what's next before I elaborate on that anymore. Another ace. Okay, this is a success card. Success, success here, then amplified by the aces. The ace of swords is another air. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and it's about making decisions. This is a card of everlasting strength. So here we are under the ten wands with some of our vulture thoughts and... They've kind of had their way with us, and we might be feeling a little exhausted for it. And then we have these two powerful aces, one of them being a sword. This is cutting to the heart of a matter. You know, it's, it's as if this eye is staring at the truth that we need to see within ourselves. Oh, I like that. I feel here wrestling with decisions about making changes in our lives that 
Maybe we were comfortable. Maybe we've been comfortable somewhere with decisions we've made. And something has taken place that's caused us to question those decisions. And we're being urged and encouraged to make new choices for the life we dream of. I feel my guides and angels are saying, <laughs> don't get too comfortable, but not in the Ten of Wands sort of way, but don't get too comfortable because you will, we will continue to be pushed out to our edge where, where change happens. That's where the magic is. The magician's out there on the edge and he's, he's brewing up good things. Sometimes that requires a leap of faith instead of falling in a heap <laughs> and setting fire to your wands. It's not going to get you where you want to go. But it is a fulfillment card because it's saying we've had enough of that. Now we're ready to move on and make some magic. Let's see what's next. Yeah, didn't I just say decisions? Two of swords. This one's, this is a decision maker card. This is the moon in Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. Two of swords is protecting the heart. If you notice, this girl is blindfolded and she's got a sword in each hand and her arms are crossed over her chest, her heart center. Although, even though they're crossed, her heart is still exposed. So, see with your inner vision, but look through your heart to make your decisions. Get out of the mind, which can be a monkey and has all those vulture thoughts in it. Thinking isn't going to solve it for us. It's going to our inner wisdom, listening to our heart, really tuning into our heart energy and following that through. That's when this card reverses, the blindfold comes off, and the swords drop. There's no need to protect oneself. So that's what's happening. This could be a very interesting day for some of us, most of us. Synchronicities, serendipities are aligning to show up in our interactions with other people that lead us to the success we've been dreaming of, the, the desires we have been working on to make manifest. We're gonna get news about that today. We're going to feel empowered. Next card, Five of Swords. It's another tough card, but I do like that it's right underneath the Ten of Wands. This. This has been us working through all of this to create this success that's showing up here. And we're at a point in this process where only our intuition and our inner wisdom will serve us the rest of the way through. I like that. Let's see the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Yeah, we're moving on. We're taking, we're leaving seven cups behind us and they're sort of full, but we're taking one with us and we've poured a little off of each of these to bring with us and we're headed in a new direction. We don't exactly know where we're going. This feels a little bit like a mystery. I'm also hearing um, from my guides, my angels, they're just, they're whispering, saying there's something better. What you decided on before you have now outgrown. Ten of Wands shows that. You've come to fulfillment. We've come to fulfillment with the decisions we made in the past. We've been wrestling with those decisions lately. And now we're moving on from that. Even though we don't fully understand where we're headed, we are following our heart. It's going to lead us somewhere really good. I like that. Okay. I'm going to pick three cards from Dorian Virtue's Angel Answers. So while I shuffle those, 
I invite you all to ask a question of these cards and let these cards be the answer for you. I will connect what comes out of the deck to what's here on the table though. And three of them just fell out. <laughs> Big happy changes. That's the Eight of Cups. That's the power of the Aces and the Magician from, from the fulfillment of a phase or a period of time in our life that we're just done and over with. Big happy changes. We're making that happen. We're manifesting that. The Aces are helping that happen. An emphatic no. <laughs> That's a good one uh, because we're we're done. Ten is fulfillment. No more of vulture thoughts. No more wrestling with ourselves. No more turning our back on ourselves. We're we're headed toward that beautiful sunrise. We're coming out of a storm and into a sunrise. Say yes to yourself. Last card. Ask for help from others. Yeah, that's the Ten of Wands too. That's delegation. This is reaching out to people we know, love, and trust, sharing our some of our thoughts and ideas, and getting a little bit of feedback. So if, if some of you are teetering with your choices, uh, check in with someone that you love, uh, who loves you, who is really interested in your highest and greatest outcome, Someone who's encouraging, reach out to them today. Talk to them. If you can't get to that person today, then talk to your guides and angels. They will help you. They'll, they'll light the way for you. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Please share it. It's a brand new channel. It needs to get around a bit. <laughs> so if you've got a friend you think would benefit from the message, please pass it on to them. And if you would like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below or at my website, www.myangelsoul.com. My love and blessings to each of you. Thank you again for watching and have a beautiful Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.